Mr. Ryder and Mr. Water here today from Aqua Aaron, who are uh, leading the way in the Northern Territory on our hydrogen journey towards 50% renewables by 2030 and zero emissions by 2050. The ability to create hydrogen uh, requires a, a reasonable amount of water, and it's important for us to have a sustainable source of water, and particularly uh, in arid regions that can be quite a challenge. And the technology uh, that we have today from Aqua Aram is about um, establishing a sustainable water source so that we can produce renewable hydrogen in a way that is suitable for the territory context and position as well for future exports. Hi, I'm Gerard Ryder. I'm a co-founder of Aqua Aram. What you see behind me here is the Aqua Aram trial unit. Aqua Aram was really formed to commercialise the water capture technology uh, for two purposes. One was to help uh, local communities in water stressed areas but also to look at other applications such as renewable hydrogen. At Aquarium, we've made a patented technology which allows us to capture water from atmosphere. Uh, we can use that water for various purposes, uh, including agriculture, community uses, and also for renewable hydrogen. The purpose of this unit here is to make sure that we can see how much water we can produce and we're able to then scale that up to industrial quantities of water, some of which can be used for community and also some of that will be used for hydrogen production, renewable fuels, which is the way of the future. Our technology solves that because actually what we're doing is capturing water from the atmosphere in situ. And that means that we're not actually tapping into the existing agriculture use, the existing community use. In terms of the Northern Territory, you know, the question becomes, why are we here? Well, in the Northern Territory, we've got some unique resources. Uh, one of the ones that's most unique is what's called direct normal irradiation, which is effectively the amount of sunlight that you receive. This unit here is intended to go down to Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory so that we can make measurements of the unit operating in arid environments. The opportunity to produce hydrogen means that the Northern Territory will be able to diversify renewable energy resources. Renewable hydrogen technology complements our world-class solar resources and helps the Northern Territory Government achieve its 50% renewable target by 2030 and zero net emissions by 2050.